Hey y'all, happy Monday. So, um, over the next few weeks, we are going to dig into um, something that is just, well, exciting, always interesting, beautiful, and just, I love the scripture. And it's Matthew. We're, we're going to be in Matthew for a little bit. And we are starting in Matthew chapter 1. And I, I told you a couple of weeks ago, I guess, we were looking at something and that I had been studying in Matthew verse by verse and just digging into it and loving it, you know, just really <laughs> slow and steady, <laughs> sometimes slower than others. But um, when I sat down to read Matthew, I was like, okay, God, so this is where we're going to start, right? And you show me what you have to show me. And in the first verses... It was amazing all he had to share. And so I want us to dig into Matthew chapter 1 over this Christmas season. Um, we talk a lot about Mary, right? Because, of course, she was the mother of Jesus and um, rightly so that we talk about her. But the journey to get to Mary and then what it means for us after Mary particularly talking about women. Um, women in the Bible before Mary, Mary, and then women after Mary. Um, Eve had a had a pretty rough time of it, right? The, the choosing the voice of Satan over the voice of God and the fall and, you know, how many times over the course of history have people in general, not just women, but people, I've got something to ask Eve when I get to heaven, you know, how could she do this? It's all her fault. Um, but there is a redemptive process that has happened to all of humanity. But um, I, I think it's it, what we're going to dig into is a beautiful picture of the redemption of the heart and the spirit of the woman. And so let's just start in Matthew 1, verse 1. It, this is the book of the ancestry of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the anointed, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham was the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers, Judah, the father of Perez and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar. Perez, the father of Hezron, and Hezron, the father of Aram. Shon, Nashon, the father of Salmon. Salmon, the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rahab. Boaz, the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed, the father of Jesse. Jesse, the father of King David, King David, the father of Solomon, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. And we keep going and we keep going and we keep going all the way down to verse 16. It says, Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called the Christ the Messiah, the Anointed One. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, this genealogy, right? What in the world does that have to do with anything? But there's mostly in the Bible, we hear in genealogy, men. It's about the father, the father's house, the father's name, the father's family. But in this, in Matthew, we have Judah, the father of Perez, and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar. So we have Tamar. We have um, Salmon, the father of Boaz, whose mother was Ruth. So we have Tamar, we have Ruth. And then in verse 6, it says, David, the father of Solomon, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. So the wife of Uriah. And then all the way down in verse 16, Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus. So we have Tamar, Rah um, Rahab, 
Ruth, Bathsheba, who was the wife of Uriah, and Mary. And we're going to dig into this over the course of the month of December. And I'm just, I'm ready to do it. All right, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.